Yo, what up, though? The Minnesota Vikings, man, are 3-0. and And the Minnesota Vikings are for real, y'all. The Minnesota Vikings done beat two teams who were favored to go to the Super Bowl back-to-back, -back, man. And they did it in a nice fashion, man. Today, C.J. Stroud was the victim, man. The Minnesota Vikings defense... Gave C.J. Stroud trouble all day long, man. C.J. Stroud ain't even have 100 passing yard going into halftime, man. C.J. Stroud did not play good against the Minnesota Vikings defense, man. And mainly because Brian Flores was drawing up all type of plays in the Minnesota Vikings defense, they played good, man. They came away with two interceptions. They came away with four sacks. And they kept on putting pressure on on uh, C.J. Stroud, and they took away his favorite wide receiver, Nico Collins, man. That's why Stephon Diggs had a big day today. Stephon Diggs was the Houston Texans leader on um, receiver. He had like 94 or 96 receiving yards, but Houston Texans only scored one touchdown. And the Minnesota Vikings put up 34 points on the Houston Texans, man. And Sam Darnold got hurt in the third quarter. But he went back out there, and he threw a touchdown pass. Sam Darnold threw four touchdown passes with no interception, man. The Minnesota Vikings are one of the best teams in the NFC, man. And the Minnesota Vikings are one – It's only I think it's only two teams undefeated in the NFC right now. It's Seattle and Minnesota because New Orleans Saints lost today to the Eagles. So the Minnesota Vikings – are in a good spot right now, man. The Minnesota Vikings defense and offense are for real, man. This ain't no fluke what we watching with the Minnesota Vikings, man. Sam Darnold is playing real good, and he is playing at a high level, man. Sam Darnold today, I like what I seen, man. When he ain't had, when he ain't had no play, he threw the ball out of bounds, man. Sam Darnold played so good today for the Minnesota Vikings against the Houston Texans, man. I was I was happy, man. I couldn't quit smiling, man. And Aaron Jones had a big day. Aaron Jones ran. For 102 rushing yards, and he also had 46 um, receiving yards. And he also caught a receiving touchdown. And Justin Jefferson, I know we all seen Justin Jefferson with them, uh, them key drops on third down, but I seen I think Justin Jefferson, I think he hurt his finger, though, on one of them passes for Sam Darnold because y'all know Sam was throwing darts pew, all day out there. I think J.J. probably got his finger jammed up or whatever the case might be, man. But Sam Donovan been playing good, man. I told y'all in my in my game preview, who is going to check Justin Jefferson? I know damn well won't gonna be no Singletary, and and Justin Jefferson and Sam Donald, they made Houston Texans pay for that dumbass defense they was running in the first half. The second half, they changed their whole defense scheme, but man, they started doubling Justin Jefferson. Like y'all should have did that shit from the get go. And Jalen Naylor had a big day. He caught another touchdown pass, and he also had thirty one receiving yards, man. Sam Donald. It throwing the football around to everybody, man. And Johnny Mutt even got out there on a few plays, man. He caught a touchdown pass. And Johnny Mutt also got a pass in the front car um, from the Houston Texans at the one-yard line. They gave the Minnesota Vikings a touchdown from the one. So the Minnesota Vikings overall played a good game, man. They defense is playing lights out right now, man. We gave Brock Purdy trouble, Daniel Jones, and C.J. Stroud with the next victim, man. At the end of the day, man, I really don't care what the mainstream media got to say about the Minnesota Vikings, man, because they're going to go off of history. But I'm telling y'all, man, this right now is a different Minnesota Vikings team, man. This ain't the last year of Minnesota Vikings team or the year before. This is a whole new year, man, a whole new team, man. And this year, Minnesota Vikings team, they are for real, man. The Minnesota Vikings, I think, what well, I know, if you line them up with the other, with another good team in the NFC, they're going to beat their ass. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all seen what we did to the 49ers, and that game shouldn't have been that damn close for real. We should have beat the 49ers by at least 13 or 17 points, but we beat them down, and we did what we did to Houston today, man. This was another statement game for, from the Minnesota Vikings, man. Last week, we put the NFL on notice, and we did it again going against Houston, Texas, man. C.J. Stroud is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, and our defense gave him trouble all day long. He ain't know what to do with the football. He was throwing interceptions. He was overthrowing people, getting sacked, getting hit. C.J. Stroud ain't know what was going on out there looking at that defense, man, and that's a big up to Brian Flores, man. The Minnesota Vikings, they are for real, y'all. <laughs> like, like, this ain't no little fluke, no shit we seeing right now with the Minnesota Vikings doing, man. I feel like this is a special Minnesota Vikings team this year, man. And I'm so happy Sam Darnold is playing good for the Minnesota Vikings, man. The Vikings are 3-0. We travel next week to London, I believe, to face the New York Jets. But I'm going to drop that game preview probably Tuesday, something like that, though. But today, I'm going to talk my shit today, man. The Minnesota Vikings are 3-0, man. And we just beat down. 
one of the best teams in the AFC, man. Who next?